Hello everyone. Today we're going to take another quick look at some PowerShell stuff. We're going to take a look at a command called OutGridView uh, to make your outputs of your commands look pretty in the easiest way possible. So let's get straight into this with a quick bit of PowerShell. So I'm here in my VS Code and let's go and run ourselves uh, a command. So let's go and run get process. And when we're going to run our get process command, the output is going to look like this down the bottom. Okay, so it's coming out to the terminal. That's nice. What about if I wanted to filter this? What about if I wanted to change things around? Well, I can't click on anything here. I can't click on the process name. I can't click on the ID to filter that. But what I can use, if I pipe this, I can use a command called out-gridview. This is a great command. If you go and run this, what happens is it doesn't actually output to the shell. What it does is it outputs to this separate little window that pops up. And now I've got a standard sort of Windows window. And I can go and click on things to go and organize these by process names, organize these by IDs, or even filter things by adding filter commands to this. But we can extend this out grid view a little bit too. So let's take this get process out grid view. Maybe what I want to also do is I want to only select certain things. So I could combine this with a select statement and I could say I want to select or let's just do select dash object here, the full terminology for it. And let's do name and we will also go and select CPU and we can also go and select the ID as well. Now, if I go and run these specific things, name, CPU and ID in my outputs, I'm going to get just that list. Maybe we also want to take that and pipe that again to out dash grid view. What we can also do is we can add some extensions onto OutGrid View. We can give this a title, so we can put a little title on there, and we might actually go and call this um, Selected Process uh, Information. All right, wonderful. Now let's go and run that command again, and we get our OutGrid View, and our OutGrid View looks a little bit different. We've got just the information we selected, and we've got our selected process information as a title at the top. Wonderful. So let's go extend this a little bit further. There's a lovely little trick that we can use called pass through. So let's go and comment out get process here. And what we're going to do is we're going to use um, a different thing. We're going to make this uh, expand a little bit more. So we're going to use a variable. We're going to use uh, selected processes, selected processes, or selected process. Uh, let's get with the C so we can spell that correctly. And let's do an equals on this one. It, this is going to be get process again. Okay, get process. And what we're going to do is we're going to do an out grid view again. We're going to do an out dash grid view. And we're going to do our title. And we're going to do again selected process to stop. Because what we're going to do is we're going to combine this with a stop process information. We're going to put a dash pass through on the end of this. Now this pass through is very important because what it allows us to do is essentially take an input and an output and pass it through our out grid view. Okay, so if I run just this single line at the top here, so let's press F8 to run that, um, what we're actually going to get is an out grid view that looks a bit like this, just as we saw before. But take note of this area down here, okay? It's going to be something a bit different now. So if I run this selected process, what I want to do is I want to run another selected process here. And we're going to take that and we're going to pipe it again into stop dash process. So what's going to happen is when we run this out grid view selection, we're going to get an extra box. So let's go and run just that block of code here. And what we should see is we should see another out grid view, but now we've got this OK and cancel. And what this allows me to do is actually take a program in here, select it. I can even control click to select things and actually pass that through to the next command, in this case being stop process. We could also do something else with this out grid view. Uh, what we could do is we could, for example, use filters. So if we use a filter like this, let's do a read host. So this is going to read information uh, or be prompt, prompting the user to insert information. And we're going to say something like enter uh, process to filter down here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do that same get dash process again. And we're going to pipe that to a where command. So we're going to do a where dash object. And then we'll add a little bit of extra jiggery pokery to this and we'll do a dollar underscore dot name which is the name variable or the name property that is being passed across the pipeline from get process and then we're going to do dash like 
and it's going to be like uh, anything to do with the filter. Okay, it's awesome. So now we can pipe that again into our out dash grid view, and we'll just do a title, and we'll do this for uh, filtered output. So inside here, what I want to do is I want to go run that block of code and see exactly what that does. So let's go and execute that with F8 on here. And it's going to say enter the process to filter. And the process I want to filter here is, um, I don't know, let's go and launch Edge. And maybe we'll go and search for Edge down there. Enter that. It's going to pass that into that out grid view and give me the output with a pre-established filter of Edge. And you can see I've got all the MS Edge results. So, there's a few different ways that we can use the out grid view within PowerShell. I hope you find this useful, especially the pass through, uh, as that I use quite a lot in some of my scripts just to kind of make a very easy interface where a user can go and run a selection that can be passed through to something else within your code. Join me next time for more quick PowerShell. And you know the routine hashtag like and subscribe. And I hope you enjoyed this video and will join me next time. Goodbye.